hey guys welcome back to another video on the channel so today i'm going to be starting a new series on the channel called the tech weekends what i do in these the tech weekends is that i do tech stuff so for the first one i have this app of laptop and what i'm going to be doing is installing windows on a thumb drive so that i can boot into windows from that thumb drive on that laptop the reason why i wanted to do this is because the laptop came with an nvme which i wanted to use in a project for a pc that i bought off of ebay so i really wanted the laptop to be still functional because i had loaned it to a friend to play some indie games and also some older games like fifa 15 and 17 and need for speed most wanted so i really wanted my friend to get back the laptop to use but i wanted the nvme to put in my other pc build that i've been working on so what i had to do was find a way to install windows onto the thumb drive and that is what i'm going to be showing you guys in this video i tried to install it on the micro sd card using an adapter but for some reason the micro sd card slot was a little bit too slow or it didn't pick up when it was booting into windows so it just didn't work then i tried my team group uh, uh, thumb drive and it actually worked it boot really well and again that's what i'm going to be showing you guys how to do that in this video so without further ado let's hop over to the pc so i can download the program and install windows onto this thumb drive so now that we're on the computer i'm going to be showing you guys how to install it on your thumb drive so i'm going to go ahead and insert my thumb drive and then we're going to go to the website to download the software so the website is going to be linked in the description of this video it's going to take you to easyuefi.com then you're going to go to where you see windows to go and then windows to usb once you click it you're going to go down to where you see download and this is the current version i'm going to click download one thing that you should note is that if you use the free version you will only be able to use one type of windows and i think that's either windows home or enterprise if you have pro it won't work once you download the program you can simply go ahead and install it it's a very easy install simply click click and you are good once it's finished installing you can go ahead and start the program so this is the program you'll have three options windows to go usb windows installation usb and bootable win pe usb we're going to go with the first option which is windows to go usb so click on it the first thing that you want to do is select your installation source and that's your window file i'm going to go ahead and select the one that i downloaded now this isn't a official build of windows it's a what do i call it a modded version of windows so i'm going to go here and it's windows or tiny 10 b4 i'm going to select that and you're going to see it pop up right here again you're going to select this drop down and select the edition if you're using the free version next we're going to go ahead and select the destination and that's the drive that i want to install it on make sure that you select the right drive and that's hit this one right here it's my 60 gig um, thumb drive i'm going to leave it at mbr for bios and uefi so i'm going to be using the one with mbr then the installation mode i'm going to go legacy and once that is done i'm going to go and proceed now depending on your system it's going to take some time i've already done this and i don't want to put back another windows onto this thumb drive so i'm just going to keep it as is but proceed and if you, again if you're using the free version make sure that you have the right edition of windows and pretty much that's it all you need to do next is plug that into your laptop or your pc make sure that there's no other os on it or go into the bios and set it to boot from that and it's just going to go through the process of setting up windows normally if you're using a thumb drive it can work but if you're using a micro sd card in an adapter it's definitely not going to work well it didn't work for me so it might not work for you 